everyone, I'm Alex and this is my first ever video on YouTube so I hope you will like it. So today I decided to talk about my experiences in Korea because I lived there for six months and I just got back to my home country and so I thought it was the right time now to share about my experiences while living in Seoul. So for my first video I decided to talk about cultural shock that I experienced while I was living in Seoul so I know there's already a lot of videos talking about that and on YouTube but yeah it's my turn now to talk about it let's go so my first cultural shock was on my very first day while I was in Gangnam in Seoul and so I was going back home from my language institute to my homestay and so I was just walking and I just went to a coffee so I still had my plastic cup um, for my drink in, with me while I was walking and then it, I emptied it or well because obviously I drank my beverage but then I looked for a trash can to just put my plastic can plastic cup in the trash can you know not to put it anywhere in the streets and I couldn't find one I walked for about um, 20 minutes maybe I don't know and I couldn't see any single trash can on the streets so then I noticed that a lot of Koreans that were passing by me, when they had like, I don't know, things to throw away, they would just put it on the side of the streets where people already put their trashes. So I noticed that and because I didn't want to carry my plastic cup for another hour or so, I just put it on the side of the streets. So yeah, don't be surprised, there's a pile of trashes in the streets. but. Even if it's, it sounds a bit dirty, but actually Seoul is pretty clean, or it depends on the neighborhood obviously, but most of the time it's really clean. So it's just, there's no trash can. My second cultural shock is uh, actually about going to the toilet. Yeah, it's really sexy, I know. I'm going to talk about toilet paper, because in some public um, toilets, there you have to put the toilet paper in a trash can. Like, you have to be careful about that. There would be usually like a, a sign in the toilet. It's usually in Korean, but sometimes there's some English words and will be like, no toilet, or like toilet paper in the trash can or something like that. So you have to be careful about that because, you know, everyone respect that. And you don't want to be the one that will mess up with the system. But one time it happened to me, like, I forgot because I'm so used in my home country you don't put the toilet paper in the trash can. So I am you know, I'm so used not to do it and so one day I was in the toilet and I forgot I put it where I was not supposed to put it. And I was like so stressed about it. Like I think I stayed for like ten minutes like inside of the toilet and I was like, Oh what should I do? Like I was I was so afraid that because I did put the toilet paper like in it that I would break the system. I, I know I, I was so stressed. Like it's not two sheets of paper, like toilet paper that would break everything. But you know I was so stressed about it because I was not in my country. I don't speak Korean well, so I was like, what should I do? Like, what if I break? I I did break something. What if? What if I had to? I have to explain it in Korean because they don't speak English or stuff like that. Yeah. So I was really afraid about that. But yeah, it, in the end, nothing happened. But you know the funny thing about like putting the toilet paper in the trash can in public toilets is that when I got back to my home country, I actually got so used to it, so used to like put the toilet paper in the trash can that when I got back to my home country, I looked for the trash can and then I realized, oh yeah, I'm not in Korea anymore, yeah, I don't need to do that, I can do it the usual way. So yeah, anyway, that was kind of like a cultural shock, but like, I don't know, like backward cultural shock, I don't know. Anyway, that was my second cultural shock in Korea. Then my third cultural shock is about how on the very first, like the few first days of my stay in Korea, I was like, are Korean people <laughs> rude to me? I, like, I felt like they were being rude to me because every time I would want to get in or get out of a building, even though the Korean people that were right before me could hear me or like feel that I was also going inside or like going out of the building, they would not hold the door for me. They would slam it on my face without any, like, <laughs> they, they wouldn't even look at me or things like that. And I was like, okay, is it, uh, is it because I'm a foreigner? Is it, is it because 
I don't know, like, yeah, because I'm a foreigner, they don't want to look at me, they don't want to be, like, polite to me. They, they're like, oh, I don't like foreigners or something like that, is it because I speak English or... I don't know, anyway, I was feeling really bad about it, but then, after a few days, I noticed that Korean, Korean people, they just slam the door on the face of everyone, no matter your, like, origin, no matter if you're a foreigner or a Korean, they just do it, they just slam the door on your face. And so I understood that it was not because of me, but just because it's a cultural fact, like, they just do it. And, like, actually, because I feel like it's rude of me to, like, slam the door on the face of someone, I would hold it, but Korean would look at me like, why are you holding the door for me? <laughs> they, they would, most of the time, they were so surprised that I would not say, like, oh, thank you for holding the door for me. They would be so surprised because I did hold it for them. So don't be surprised if it happens to you in Korea, it's actually normal. Even just be prepared because on my first days, I didn't know about that. And so, you know, I wouldn't look in front of me while I was like going inside a building. And so, yeah, it happened to me actually. I got slammed, like the door slammed on my face, like for real, because I was not looking straight. I was talking with my friend and I was like that, you know, talking and then, yeah. It happened to me. Anyway... <laughs> um, now I'm going to talk about things that I looked for in Korea but that I couldn't find. So my fourth uh, surprise in Korea was that I could not find any deodorants. I went to several stores like in the neighborhood that I used to live in and I couldn't find any. So I was like, okay, like why? Koreans don't sweat or... I don't know, and like, so you actually can find only products of one brand, and it's like all overpriced, it's like 10 or more dollars, I believe, if I remember well, for just one bottle, even like a, not like a big bottle, like a small bottle, and you really don't have any choices for the brand or like, I don't know, like the scent or things like that, so, but yeah, at first I didn't know, I was like, but how come I can't find any deodorant? In Seoul, why? <laughs> why can't I find any deodorant? But yeah, I just realized they don't use deodorants. And now let's talk about the fifth one. It's about coffee. I like to drink my coffee like black, without any milk and without any sugar. This is how I drink it. I, when I got in Korea, I was looking, like, I was doing my groceries and I looked into coffee and I looked into instant coffee and so I didn't really look into it, like, I just saw instant coffee and then I grabbed the box and I bought it but when I opened it, like, I put it in my cup and then there was this white thing <laughs> and I was like, oh, did the coffee turn bad already? Is it normal? And then I realized it was sugar, but I was like, why, why is, is it white, <laughs> why is it not black, and yeah, so that was sugar, because in instant coffee in Korea is half coffee, half sugar, they like to drink their coffee really sweet, and actually it made me laugh, because this morning I was watching um, the last episode of a drama, it's I'm not a robot, and <laughs> One character in this episode that I was watching, they, they're they about to like drink instant coffee and they say like, oh, coffee is best when it's really sweet. And yeah, so it made me laugh because it's true, like Koreans, they love their coffee when it's really sweet. So yeah, this was my first, that was my fifth cultural shock in Korea. And wait. Okay, sorry, like, got a, a guest. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you liked it. And yeah, so this is the end. Bye, annyeong. Annyeong, annyeong.